yeah so guys welcome welcome once again uh i want to show you something very very profound that be aware of scams scams they are real and people there there are some people who are running scams uh to cheat you uh to steal your money and you must be very very careful and i encountered some scammers and I'm, I'm gonna show you uh how to identify a scammer but i will show you also a video that you can watch uh in the case i don't give a detail so i went i want to to give you an idea who is a scammer so here it is 10 ways to deal with a scammer first ask him a question Sometimes it isn't easy to tell if the request of the company is, is legitimate or not. So you must know the tactics, initiate contact, keep your information secret. This is very important. You must always keep your information secret. This point here. Keep your information secretly. Secret. And practice uh, safe uh, surfing, pay attention, stay informed, and help others. So, guys, this is very, very important, very important uh, to know. So, let's look who is a scammer. Who is a scammer? Okay. Now let, let's go back. I'm, go I'm gonna show you the scams that are. Uh, I, I have uh, come across so a scammer it's saying here that a scammer is a non-confidence game or other fraudulent schemes especially for making quick profit or swindle so you you can get this word quick profit profit or swindle so wherever you see someone writing to you on Facebook or any social media that there is instant money, you should get money, there is these promotions, win big, big money, don't trust them. Never trust them. And never give your address to someone you don't know because in that address they can make uh, things that uh, you cannot expect and the police, they can be on your neck because they can do crazy, crazy things. So... You, you must really be careful of, of scammers and uh, I will show you this video this guy here you can search it on YouTube this guy explains how to know if a person is a, is a scammer is a what on Facebook so the guy put the video there and we are not gonna play it today but uh, I will the friendship you... and then we talk, talked a little bit on chat so let's take a look so you, you I was go maybe ninety percent sure. Make, a make few sure. things caught my attention first. I've seen so make sure you go there. The friendship oh, and, and then we talked a little bit. So you will make sure you go there. The then. friendship and then we talked a little bit on the friendship. The friendship and then we oh, talked God. a little bit. So you will make sure you go there and uh, see it. So let me show you uh, the scams that uh, I've been encountering, and I will I will show you something that's uh, that's really really wrong. I will show you. I've been I've been receiving many messages and they've been blocking. So the first guy is here. This guy here is a scammer and I will post on Facebook to warn people so that they don't fall for these scams. This guy here is a scammer. So you can see it's called Asha Wizzy. <laughs> they use fake names. So that's the first guy. And uh, it's many people whom I've been blocking, telling me about money, telling me about what, many things. Never, never, never send money or never use a gift card. Whenever they ask you gift card address, your secret things like they tell you to fill a form, never do that, okay? Never. Never do that. Those, they are just scams. It's a scam. So, there is, oh God, there's another scammer here. This is like the chief scammer. I still have here. On my on my message, I haven't blocked there because I want to show you this here. 
Amanda Reeves. She claims to be a Facebook person. So all the scammers, they referred me to her. This one. So she's like the chief scam. So she's called Amanda Reeves. And she claims to be a uh, Facebook personnel. So I'm going to show you uh, what these guys, they are really, really doing. So I've been blocking many. So I want to show you so much of them. Say, there is another one here. This guy, I don't know him. My first time. From a nowhere, he's called Samiri Isao. From nowhere, he asks me my number. I can show you uh, his message. He says, can I explain uh, Islam for you, please, via phone or WhatsApp? If you write your contact to call, it free. Or just when, when I call you, if you want. So this guy is just asking for my profile. So I don't know. Maybe he's a scammer. Never give your phone number to anyone, right? Whom you don't know. Never. Uh, so I told him let's talk on, on messenger and the guy did not reply. So le let me let me show you the 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 person who 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 is a scammer too. Tried to scam me. He did not know that I already know. I already know how scammers approach people. I here he is the scam guy. And on his profile, you see like he's from Uganda and put an image of people. You have to know this guy, they use fake uh, fake profiles. So the guy's here and I, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, the message he sent. And I will show you how these guys, they, they really start. So one thing I love about uh, Canada... One thing I love about Canada, the security, like every every time when a scammer comes onto my phone, they will, they do warn me. They tell me, be careful of this guy. Don't give your personal information. This is what you see the message here. It is, uh, the, it is uh, sent by the security. Like, like, do you know this person? Yes. Do you know this person? If there are some things keep in mind while chatting, so they put yes and I click the no. I said no, I don't know this person. So they bring now, they tell me steps you can take. Uh, you can block him. So here is the things. Recognize the harassment. Keep your, know you're in control. <laughs> you never have to share photos, video, or information that makes you comfort uncomfortable with someone, even if you've shared them before. So they are pretty warning me. So I go now to the first message. It just types hello, how you doing? And I type it good. It says here he goes straight. It says have you not been contacted by agent Reeves Amanda? And remember that woman whom I said Reeves Amanda. And I said this uh, politely asking uh why are you asking me this question? Because at, at first I was confused I said Agent Reeves Amanda, what are you talking about? And it says she's the online coordinator for the government, uh, for the government World Economic Forum. Like she, she's the online coordinator for the government World Economic Forum. Wow, it's about the new program established for the help of people in paying their bills and starting a new life, including disabled and retired. First. From here, I knew, from this message, I knew that this guy is a scammer, is trying to swindle money from me. Because he's, he's talking about a new program established to help people paying bills, starting a new life, including disabled retirement. That's a lie. That's a fed right? A fallacy. Never, never, never. If you, even if you meet someone who tells you the president or is an angel, Telling you that you must give them their information ever. And I will show you how, how the conversation really got interesting. I said, no. I knew. Then I said, no, let me just hear from this guy. I said, no. I have never been contacted by him. He said, uh, they selected 20 profile on Facebook to be the winner for it. Oh, what's wrong with the reaction? I'm so happy. You got the sum of, I, I just got the sum of $200,000 from the deliver to my doorstep. 
do you get yours? Like the person is asking me, did you get any money? And I say, no, I haven't. Says your name is also on the winner list. I saw that he, I saw that on it. That's why I messaged you to know if you got it yet. And I say, really? But I haven't received any yet. Said you need to contact Agent Reeves Amanda Elizabeth. That helped me get the winning prize. Do you know how to contact him? I said, nope. I said, how can I get him? And he sent me the, the picture of the fake profile. This woman here. So he said, just follow the link and the other app message that you want to claim the winning prize. You need to message her now so that she can attend to you now. I said, okay, good. Let's just tell her that you want to claim the winning prize. I said, I've already told her. Because I've, I had already went and contacted her. So where do you live, bro? I asked him, where do you live? So you see from this message, he could not uh, reply. So here, after I, I, I had uh, seen them, I said, bro, you are the stupidest. Boy, have you ever met you? Let's come, damn the scam. You thought you can fool around me. Let me warn you that the police have tricked. So, I was trying to threaten them. So, but they, it didn't, it did not work. So, let's go to, let, let's go and I show you this guy. Somewhere since I here. So, you see. Let's, let, let me show you on Facebook what is the profile, his profile on Facebook. So the guy is there, he has no cover photo. He has 17, he has, the, uh, we have 18 mutual friends. And uh, he has uh, this friend. Uh, so let's see so the first thing to notice about uh scammers it is that they use fake accounts and on their fake accounts they don't they, they have no match posts so before you you reply to anyone check how many uh how many posts do they have if they have five to three those people they are not trustworthy. like someone must have uh, normally, you know how Facebook is crazy. The person must have around 20 or over 20 posts or over 10 posts. That's, that's what I could say uh, must be the qualification before you trust someone. The person must have more than 20 profiles. And now you can see this this profile, this picture that uh, here, this December 2000, right? If you can see clearly from here, it's 2000, December 26, 2000. That's when I think uh, he put the account there, 2000. So a person from 2000, we expect to have a lot of posts from 2000 to 2020. There must be a lot, right? But look here. Um, this one is for 2019, December 2019. If you can see that here. 2019. Mm -hmm. 2019, and you see the guy is posing there behind the car that is probably not his. And you see the picture has repeated, it has repeated again. So, fake profiles also they repeat the pictures, they just repeat the pictures. So, that's all. He has two posts from 2000. So, that's already you know that's a scam. That's a scammer. So uh, you you don't just end there. You say, let me go to photos. Because from 2000, someone must have uh, many photos. Tons of photos. So let us see how much you got. We just have one album, is profile. And when you go to profile, it's just two photos. Two. So from there, we know already this guy is a scammer. He's a serious scammer. Serious scam. So uh, let me take you now to Sarah Leaves. Amanda Leaves. Then I show you. I can also show you this guy. This guy also I blocked him. 
because he sent me a message he say hi how are you doing i say hey okay i'm the great power of money from ghana this is uh a sangoma if you know a witch doctor i replied i said go to hell the guy was telling me that uh, he has powers so much he want to help me and i don't subscribe to that nonsense i don't subscribe to it so let me show you the amanda reeves that uh that the guy was talking about even this guy blocked him what was he telling me about he was a spiritualist also but you see what i love about uh security it has already notified me do you know this person what was be careful uh so that's what i love about security so let me show you the the here he is she's online maybe this is a man who just claims <laughs> so let me show you how now the conversation got very 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 sweet so i went to the profile and i said hi i heard i'm the winner on the list can i get the money i want to claim my winning prize my name is agent leaves amanda elizabeth from facebook headquarters based in the usa i'm facebook online coordinator i said okay i want to claim my winning prize how do you get my page so the first thing she's she doesn't know the difference between a page and the profile so from here i could even tell more that this this person does not know anything about facebook because she says how do you get to my page this is not a page my friend it is a profile a page you have no page so i just kept it i said that i was given your name by someone and someone said you helped the uh to claim the winning prize I said oh which country are you living so i lied i said i'm i'm in the usa united states says your name please and you know someone asking your name whom you don't trust give them a wrong name right don't they? i gave them the wrong name <laughs> wrong name so he said hold on let me check if your facebook account name is it is still on the available in a list so she said oh congratulations your facebook profile account has uh, is still available on the winners list which has not been forfeited your profile was selected among the 20 like winners that was selected randomly for the winnings i am delighted to inform you that your name was luckily selected among the 20 like winners that won sum of 200,000 United States dollars. Congratulations. Are you ready to claim your prize? And I said, yes. I said, okay. You'll have to fill a form so the board of trust and the lawyer can verify it from our database. And you have to fill it online here. I said, okay, send it. Then this is the form she sent. Like, you can't be that stupid and dumb to, to sign an official form like this one. No you'll be very stupid real name mother name address city these are the details they are looking for you can feel it here uh, just one after the other and i put the wrong name i everything was wrong nothing correct also do you have a government issue identity like driver's license or passport never never give them that detail then i said nope I don't have it. Okay, then she's like, which card did you have right or do you did you have with you right now? We just want to confirm the name on it. It's just my passport is with my fiance away from where I am. Remember it's locked down. That's what I was trying to say. She says, Oh, I will help you about that. I am with my colleagues in lockdown. I had traveled so the airport closed. That's what I was telling her. And she was like, for security reason, we advise all winners to keep this information confidential. Like, here yeah, they are just trying to make you feel like this is really confident. This is really something legit. But it's a lie. 
confidential from the public until your claim is processed and your prize prize is released to you. This is part of our security protocol to avoid the double claiming and unwanted taking advantage of the program by an participant or an official personnel and also avoid armed robbers coming to your house. Said okay. Said how long it takes says please hold on while I verify your information. So this is the video she sent me and I'm gonna play to it right away. <laughs> The accounting man, right? You can see that. See that? She shows me like the accounting man. You see that? She's showing me that they are really counting man. So you, you, uh, yeah, you have seen this, right? gonna play so long you can see she's basically showing me that they are counting money and they are packaging my money that's what they are trying to tell me and they are saying congratulations you have completed the process of a winning prize like i can't be stupid like which has i completed no legit things hmm? now we need your address so you want us to deliver a winning prize money too and I wrote the wrong address. It doesn't exist, this address. So finally, you have, uh, you have to get an Amazon gift card of $500 from Walgreen or CVS or Family Dollars or, or Kroger or 7-Eleven. Now you are using the code at the back of it to activate your winning money code and tracking number so you can deliver your winning price in four, five hours. This is a lie. Never buy a gift card to give them because they need that location. They need to give to give you to give uh, the information. And I sent a message. I have oh ha ha Amanda. I have a strong security on my phone. I can see that you are not using Facebook. You just use Messenger. And I say secondly, you ask the how I found your page while you have no page. Thirdly. The form is a scam, just like that. My security app warned me of you when you sent your message. You're the dumbest scam I've ever met before. You're not smart. You can't fool me. Every info I sent to you is fake and I'm with the police. So yeah, I was trying to put some threats to see how she would react. So I called there the video. She, she just sang on and from there she never wanted to reply. So she's like the, 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 the focal point of the scammers. So just today also I received an email. So let's first look at her profile, right? I want to find out what's her profile. Let's look at her profile also. You see, she doesn't use Facebook. She just uses Messenger. And that's one thing I told her. That you are a haste, you are a, a scammer. Because I saw that you are not using even uh, Facebook, you are just using Messenger. So if you, someone who does not use Facebook uses Messenger, that's one sign. That's one sign of a scammer. 
so the other person now i'm gonna show you the other person that uh today i will show you what the guys was saying again the guy also when he just spoke to me i knew the asha is the asha is the guy just check how the conversation begins says how, how are you doing i say good he says i'm doing pretty good Did you get your winning prize from facebook user reward i said nope and directly because i had this message before i knew where the direction the guy was going to he said i got 150,000 from facebook they are giving out cash to compensate the facebook users for new year gift and so your facebook profile name on the winners list that we receive the reward did you get yours to i said nope because i got cash delivered and more doorstep you can claim a cash to one of my old friends got their money too was all to do claim your winning money from did you get to claim your winnings i said because i knew this guy I didn't want to waste time so i wrote to him i said you are a scammer shame on you i tracked you and my security told me you are a scammer you can't lie to me and you are connected to amanda reeves i told him you are connected to amanda reeves who i see claims to be facebook personnel i got your details okay big so the guy never replied because he could see that i know about him so let's go to his profile we saw which i showed you that guy who claims to be uh the first guy who sent me the message and uh we are going to see this guy also the his profile and we are going to see it so you can see it this guy has a cover photo says he loves god so he's trying to hide behind god and uh let's look first at the posts right So let's look at the post. So this guy you can see has a lot of points. He's still young and dumb and stupid and a fool. Uh, but you can see that this guy has many posts. So you can see also. His post was found partly false information. If you can read this, you can see, see why. False information on his profile. So it's advisable first to go to the profile of the person. So you explore the person first. It's not a crime. You have to know. So the information is a mix of false statement. It could simply bring complete in some cases. Mm -hmm. so you see he is accused of false information the first thing okay so this guy you can see has a lot of a lot of posts than the current one yeah as many of them okay and So this guy has a lot of posts. So this guy might be a good guy who is becoming stupid. You can see him. There. So this guy is one of those guys who are becoming stupid and fool. But you can see this guy is. Uh, different you see the profile so this guy is a, is a scammer trying to hide but he has got a lot of pots which makes an impression that this guy also has entered the business of scamming people so my advice to you it is be careful of whoever you are sharing the information with it's very important never ever share your information with someone you don't trust someone you just don't know the first thing to know about a scammer he tells you about promotions about winning big fortune money never never trust that about fortune money never it's never legit it's not gonna 
be legit even if the person called you to say is an mp or is a what never trust that and give the information that you have so god bless you so much uh and thank you so much uh for watching